what's up, y'all? It's your girl, S. Food. It's your girl, Latia. This is DJ Nugget. Hotline. This is Jasmine Ford. Okay, King Nesbitt. Trap Wade Kessler. Slam Cito. Girl Tosh. Rough Bone. The Jewelry. Looty Boy. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Wiz Khalifa, man. And I just kicked it right here. Smoke real, real big with the Bird Boys. You gonna pull your mic closer, bro? Hold on, I'm smoking. <laughs> 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 all right man so listen it's tuesday it's the tuesday night chill spot with the berg boys that's your man dj motor main and i'm sitting here with my brother my uh i ain't gonna call him my retarded brother but my um my little bit more slower brother flack 412 shout out to flack make some noise for flack so um my bad i was too cool for school make some motherfucking noise man yeah make some noise that's where it's gonna go um yeah so we actually have a great um show today that we want to talk to y'all about a few things um one of the things that we want to talk about is um we got a huge announcement um with our brother DJ Spills that I think we should tell everybody about. Oh shit. Yeah, don't don't spill the beans, bro. Uh but we definitely got to talk uh, to y'all about that. You don't want to go anywhere. Y'all definitely want to know about DJ Spills. Don't worry, he's not dead. Um he's just at home. He's not locked up. Um, <coughs> but uh you know what I'm saying? Pray for our brother Spills, man. And then um uh we are going to talk about Something that that uh, we really wanted to uh, tackle from last week, oh, yeah, I'm ready. the baby. Um, we asked, we actually asked in our podcast um, for you, the, the the listeners, the viewers, our our Tuesday nighters, to join us in talks about the baby and who you think is hotter than a baby, if anyone. Well. Um, this week we're actually going to talk about that, but we're going to go a little bit deeper and we're going to talk about Lil Baby versus The Baby. Lil Baby. Because the Lil Baby just dropped the album. So we're going we are we're going to talk about that. Let me get engaged. I was I was about to make you my screens ooh shit. Ooh, he's about to make me my a, a screenshot or a screensaver or something. I was over here applying. I, yeah, I was really over here applying about to do some crazy shit with his picture, but I'm going to leave that for another day. Bro, what you what you don't doing worry. with my picture, bro? See, that's, the, that's the shit. See, don't don't worry about. See, y'all say to a nigga. As long as long as you ain't doing nothing weird with my picture, it's cool. We bros, so I'm not I'm not mad about it at all. But see, niggas be saying where where I ain't, I ain't doing nothing gay. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Pretty much, like don't do nothing gay with yeah, my no, picture. No, no, I don't condone that. Yeah, yeah. Don't like if you do something you like, you gonna get a little weird. Yeah, like just don't put a ball sack on my on my chin or something. Yeah, see, see, no, see, like, like put a dick in my mouth, like that'll oh, be that's, foul, no, bro. See, that's fighting shit. <laughs> that's when you, like, damn, bro, you had to put a dildo on me like, like that, bro. Yeah, we just got that's like college drunk days, like, like first of all, like off topic, but like when you when you get drunk and pass out, you always get like some type of genitalia drawn on your head. I know like, like, that's some boobs, balls. They, uh, they, they, uh, like why is that the go-to? a penis is always the first that's, that's, go-to when like, someone like, goes to sleep, like, girl or guy? I feel like it's always usually that's the, a penis. That's the go-to. It's like, and then first of all, to the motherfucker oh, who damn. know how to draw this shit so masterfully, you something wrong with you, bro? Like it's usually men that draw dicks, bro. Like, like damn, bro. If like, I want, draw like men, anything like when I go to sleep, just. Have you ever caught anyone drawing a dick in the bathroom or somewhere you was at? No, nah, but I see them all the time. Like, it'd be like weird as hell. Like, if bro, I ever. That's what you did in here while you was taking a shit, bro. You doodled a, a, a penis, bro. Like. What would you do if you ever caught someone, though? I'd be like, ooh, shit. <laughs> like, like, I think shit. I'd ask them, like, what are you doing? I'd be like, like, how long you been like how long right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah but but that's what i'm saying like i would still ask like what why are you like what are you doing i'm like you not to draw anything else <laughs> i say some shit like that like what else you not to draw like i'm drawing a fucking dick you asshole what i'm like you not draw an airplane oh, i'm like you not draw an airplane or something yeah, like, you not be. draw a fist <laughs> right why a dick bro like, draw a fist bro 
Draw anything. Draw a foot. Like I, I don't want to see none of that in there. But bro, you see it in all the foreign rest stops, like. Bro, yeah, I swear. Like, or like, there's this one uh, place, and it might be the Grog Shop, oh, but shit. it's in Cleveland. And bro, there's like a dick room. <laughs> like you go in there, and it's like a hall of fame. Like people just try to one up each other, like. Veiny dicks, tiny dicks, like, <laughs> like, like character dicks, like cartoon dicks, like, bro, all types of wild shit. Like, they just one upped each other like, in dick drawing contest in this they went one to school. room. They went to school for that, bro. Swear, it's probably the craziest room I've ever been in. But shout out to the grog shop, if I'm saying it right, the grog spot, the grog shop. But um, yeah, it's a dope spot. I was just appalled by the. The dick room. Um, oh, and uh, we had got off topic. Uh, Facts. We also want to talk. Uh, tell y'all that we're going to talk about. Um, uh, let me uh, go to my Palm Palette. Um, we're also going to talk about new albums. Um, so we're going to talk about new albums. We need we need some like music to start the new album. Like new albums. New. New, 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 new album. I just accidentally deleted something. Oh, shit. He accidentally deleted his in- banking information. So, oh, here it is. New albums. No, 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 Which new. one has to go? So there's four. There's there's currently four albums that are top and topping the charts in uh, hip hop. And it's the Lil Baby, My Turn, uh, PTSD, G Herbo. Still flexing, still stepping, young boy never broke again, and artist 2.0, a boogie with the hoodie. So um, we're actually going to uh, pick which one has to go. Uh, we'll do that later on in the show as well. And um, shit, man, Kush time today. You want? We might as well do a Kush time, right? It's your world. It's your world, player. No, Kush time is your world. It's, it's my world. But yeah, um, I was thinking maybe we could play a little game too. Um, what are we uh, doing? We playing t- checkers? Nah. Um, well, since we play games so much, um, I wanted to talk about Madden and Two K. Game hits. And I wanted to. I wanted to see. If we could build a better game, how would we build it? You know what I'm saying? Like, what would we add on? What would we take off? Um, so we'll have, we might have that for you guys later too. Um, oh yeah. If we have time. And um. I'll have the Ellis game. As always, we begin our show with uh our salutations uh shout out to everybody that's listening shout out to everybody that's tuned in uh what the fuck is that when you tuned in we appreciate you um definitely check us out on uh youtube subscribe to our youtube hit that subscribe hit that button. button uh the berg boys show up some old shit please do go to our twitter and our instagram and follow us on there as well the Mike berg boys shit Say something crazy to us, man. Let us know how an average Tuesday for you goes. Or maybe even just how this Tuesday is going. You never know. Um, hit us yeah, up. Taxes, it might be going good. It might be going really good for you if you just got your taxes. So definitely let us know with that as well. Um, let me borrow some money. <laughs> you can also leave us a message. Oh, follow us on Anchor as well. Go check us out on the Anchor app. Um, and we're, you can listen to our podcast on Spotify. You can listen to it on, um, anchor. You can listen to it on, I believe Google, uh, Apple music. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're pretty much out there right now. So, um, definitely go check our podcast out. We everywhere. Well, you ain't never there. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to our brother DJ Spills, man. Um, we're going to talk about him in a quick second. Uh, we're just going to go to the Twitter. Check out the Twitter real quick. The Tweeter. Roll up some more dope. And uh, we'll be back. So uh, just I'm keep something rolled up. Don't for, bite me yeah, have your sack. 
I'm Keep some rolled up already. for us. <laughs> Tell us what you smoking on. It's the Berg It's boys. hot as hell. Bitch. Yeah, we got the heat on today. I got to zip up. I got to. Let me unzip. Let's see what I'm wearing. We oh, shit. I am Pittsburgh. Yeah. I thought I had power moves only. Ooh, shit. Nice. Zip that shit back up. It's like, no. <laughs> no, I don't do Shout it. out to I Am Pittsburgh. Shout out to T Bev and everybody. I Am Pittsburgh. Repping I Am Pittsburgh. Them is the homies, man. I want some chili cheese fries, T Bev. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. Bro. Don't keep playing with me. Where your Berg Boy shirt at? Huh? Where your Berg Boy shirt at, bro? I mean, look. Look how, look how I'm in here, bro. <laughs> don't keep asking me shit. You got like, you got to have your Berg Boy shirt. My Berg Boy shirt. Where's your Berg Boy shirt? I got it on. That's the bro. old one. That's the it's little, still a Berg Boy that's shirt. A, that's the OG logo. It's tight as fuck on me I too. Swear it look tight. <laughs> <laughs> that shit look tight, bro. It feel like one of them, uh, one that's of the it. joints that you sweat in, bro. Ooh, like the shit, sweat Under tea. Armour. Yeah, he like, got an Under got Armour, Under Armour uh, Berg Boy shirt. He tried to on. come looking buff today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to look still pulling up. I'm about to look bulky. <laughs> I, got, I, get, I gotta get big for my man still coming in the building. Can't I gotta be, get bulky. I can't be looking uh, uh, skinny out here. No, but um, yeah. So uh, like that. spills our brother spills. We got the news. Uh, we got the announcement. We got to see our brother spills today. One last um, time. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here. Um and um. The reason being is because we found out today that through e- Spill, via, via email, Spill's got the coronavirus, man. The Corona, man. Like to find out that your bro got the coronavirus, I don't even, I don't even know how to feel, bro. I feel betrayed. Like he really <laughs> came down here and dapped us up with the coronavirus. I feel betrayed, bro. That's crazy. I, I feel like. I feel like I, I, I feel like he his whole life is a lie. Really though, yeah. Feels like you really dapped us up with the coronavirus, bro. With no mask on, bro. He came down here trying to infect everybody. He said, "Yo, y'all are my bros." So that don't mean we gotta have matching diseases, <laughs> matching <laughs> like, infections or viruses. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. What's some of the symptoms of the coronavirus? Itchy butthole. Oh my god! For sure, like they said, your butthole is so bad. It's like that's how you. Some people pass away. They scratch it and, and bust a blood vessel. Like they just itch it. Some motherfuckers be on the corner of the couch. Anything, they just be itching their ass. Itchy ass and and uh munchies. <laughs> Niggas, munchies. I don't know why one of the symptoms is munchies too. That sounds like you getting high right there. Who the fuck get high scratch their ass to a bleed? <laughs> no, I'm that's talking some, about having the other munchies. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm talking about the munchies. And you uh you start Harlem shaking. Uncontrollably <laughs> Harlem shaking. Like a Diddy song is on. Oh shit. They said that's how everybody in New York look like they all got the virus so all be Harlem shaking. So the the coronavirus seems symptoms seem uh sort of like the uh, flu or something, but the illness causes lung lesions and pneumonia. I told you. They be having sore fights in your stomach. It includes fever, cough, and difficulty breathing or shortness of breath. You don't see itchy ass on there nowhere? Damn, no, nah, bro. I don't see. I just see milder cases may resemble the flu or a bad cold. So, bro, if one of bro, if I get the coronavirus, bro. I'm going I'm going downtown, bro, and licking stuff. And I'm just, bro, I'm I'm on well, pat buses with the with the strap, you bro. You are staring evil at everybody, bro, in bro. tears, bro. I'm going to go outside. I'm when a, mother see going outside the Mega me. Man outfit. Like I mean not the, like the Iron Man suit. This I'm a, no for on, on, on some real shit. Uh, if I got to go outside, if the coronavirus get real bad and I got to go outside, bro, I'm going outside in a Wilder outfit when he walks to the ring in the little mega. Yeah, but I'm going to wear that outfit, bro. I'm going to wear that outfit, bro. The outfit. They go like, that's, 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 what's his name? I always forget his name. That's Deontay Wilder. No, that's just me. I'm trying to not catch the virus, bro. 
Facts. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just get a whole bunch of John Eagles plastic bags and just put them around me. Line. You going to try to melt the virus out of you or something? I don't know. I might try to suffocate the virus out of me. You going to suffocate yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I might try to suffocate the... Fuck, I would have an exorcism. I have an exorcism of the virus out me. I think if one of my kids got the, the coronavirus, I would I would be more angry, though. I'm throwing them away. One of my kids get the coronavirus. I'm dropping them motherfuckers into my gas light. Come on and drop them off and then hopping back in and driving home. Like. <laughs> it's, knowing you, that's going to be like down the street at the McDonald's. Oh, ooh, <laughs> shit. They just going to keep walking back home. Like, get the fuck out of here. I, I don't want you no more. Like, damn, why you keep leaving like, me at McDonald's? I'm not just fucking. <laughs> Like I'm gonna start fighting them. <laughs> Get off my porch. Why do? But see, coronavirus. When I hear it, it makes me think of like 28 days and 28 days later. Like you know, the zombies off of that. Like that's all I can think about when I hear the coronavirus. Like I think people just gonna start like turning and fucking wanting brains or something, bro. Like that's the only Some thing. Walking I can dead shit, bro. Swear, like I saw that when I hear coronavirus and then niggas keep dying, bro, they gonna pop back up. They gonna start digging out their grave. They ain't gonna go to the grave, bro. I'm beating the fuck out of them niggas. I don't give <laughs> zombie, human, whatever. I'm gonna be just punching these niggas in, in rapid session. He might bite your hand, like oh. I'm gonna punch him in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. I'm gonna slam him. What, what if he spit stomach? out a finger? I'm just gonna go crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna just go crazy, fucking them all up. Like get the fuck off me. Oh my gosh, coronavirus, bro! You gonna be scared? I am gonna be scared, but I'll man up, <coughs> huh? I'll you got man the bucket up. hat on. You'll be good. I'll man up. <coughs> It'll take me to get my first zombie body to be. To Ooh be cool. shit! His first. He's gonna be crying when he get his first zombie kill. Why you made me do this? He gonna be calling me. That's what you gonna. You gonna be calling me, bro? They got me trapped in the crib. Come help me. I'm going to just come in with a baseball, man. I'm fucking them up. <laughs> ding. <laughs> ding. <laughs> bang. Like, come on outside now. One more left. I'm going to swing the bat off fancy. I got this. Ooh, bang. Shit. Where you learn that at? The internet. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> that's, you know. how all your, that's how all your videos really work. Ooh, shit. He, like, he got the. He got it. He sent it an e fax. That he got the coronavirus to all his homies. <laughs> that nigga sitting in the e that he trying to steal somebody's credit. He's that like, nigga look, hello, I work for the Apple. He got that type of, I work for the Apple. You know, your, 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 your PNI number came up. If you want to disinfect this, give us your debit. No, nigga. I'm not giving you my debit card. I'll have a, I'll have an infected phone. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. <laughs> well, he well, said. He's, that's him too, because he's mad that you told that, him that shit. And guess what he said? Well. The the um the hackers have your IP and and your and your social security number. I told this nigga, cool. My credit fucked up anyway. <laughs> they can have that shit. I'm not about to give you this money though. Like that's yeah. I don't have it for you. I don't have it for them to take. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Like he's like, so you don't want the no. Nigga hung up. Try to go on my internet. It kept sending me back to them. Calling. They kept every time I try to go to my internet, I had to call these niggas. Fake Apple. Like, I was mad as hell. I just keep calling these. Hello, Apple support. Like, no, nigga, this is not Apple. Nigga, this is some scam and shit. I'm not giving you no bread. Get this off my phone. Then what did they ask you for? I had to, like... They asked did they ask you for your uh, social security number? My debit card number. So they just start talking to you as soon as... You yeah, like Apple support. Like, okay, this is yeah. a recorded line. Facts. Did they like, say yeah. that? I hate when they say that. As soon as they say that, I bang probably before they even get to that part. Bro, I let them say everything and then I hang up. I don't even wait for them to say shit. No, you got to let them waste their time. I let them say all they whole thing. And they're like, how would you like to click? You I've done that everything. a few times. I've done that a few times. Don't hang up right away. You got to let them say that whole little situation. Like, it depends on what I'm doing, though. Like if I'm playing a game or something or I'm changing a diaper or something, I be, I'm... I'm gonna be like hello, and then I'm gonna hear that you are not, and I'm banging. But like if it's, I'll be saying shit. I'll be like he died, he died, <laughs> he died. That is, we at the funeral right now. Like could call you back. <laughs> what they gonna say? Like, sir, I don't believe you. 
All right, look, I'm about to, you hear all the people cry? <laughs> the good dad, like, damn. So we're outside of your house. I'm like, oh, shit, this is the wait. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. <laughs> the Passover. He dad, like. Don't come to my house. <laughs> fact. <laughs> okay. No, this, this lady knocked on my door the other day talking about PBS. Like, do you want to be a member? They trying to take PBS off the air and shit. You could donate some money. Like, it was like $30 a month. I was like, I ain't got she it. She wanted you to donate the yeah. money to her? No, she had like a little iPad with the little PBS shit. She had all the little shit on her pad. Why was she doing that? Because I guess they trying to take PBS off the air. I'm like, I don't. But she was just doing it because she wanted to? Like, door to door. Like, she had the little. Or is PBS put her up to yeah, it? Yeah, no, yeah. I was like, I ain't got it. She was like, anything helps. <laughs> I was like, I guess PBS is going to be off. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, I guess PBS. Fuck you want me to tell you? <laughs> got PBS about that. I don't even watch. It. I got the cable. I don't forget cable. I have internet. I don't PBS. All right, what the fuck? Y'all they could turn it. Y'all just y'all PBS. Y'all niggas is y'all fucking clogging the airways anyway. Nobody watching Arthur. Re, Re- Rainbow. Bro, they don't even have Arthur on That's there no Re- more. Rainbow do they? Nigga locked up. I think Arthur got too famous for PBS. Fact, he became a meme and went to MTV probably. <laughs> hey, Arthur got a chain now. He on MTV with a chain. <laughs> Arthur pull up in a Phantom, the Fact. Rafe. Facts. Like, he, get a, he get out and go to school in a Rafe now. Ooh, shit. Hey, like, you see the all these memes, the- bitch? Ooh, shit, I'm fucking getting money out here. Facts. Like, no, nah, but Eddie got the fist, he'll drop you. Facts. No, nah, bro, but yeah. I don't know what the fuck I was talking about to begin with. I don't know how we. We got was here. talking about old boy trying oh, to, uh, scam yeah, trying to scam Get niggas. On this Mike Murdoch shit. Facts. Like, I, I'm scamming, sh- scamming. Look, the illest shit I seen was that nigga was like, they said, you know, remember they used to have them skins like, give me, give me twenty five dollars, I'll turn it to two hundred. Yeah. They say all oh, them niggas is in jail because you don't see none of them them niggas posted no more. They Truth. They they must have cracked down on them. I may keep it real. There was this one day I was real broke. Really was about to get this nigga my bank account at twenty five dollars to see if we could flip it to two bands, bro. Like I was that low on life for a second. Like nigga DM be like, yeah, you need some kid. I'm like, damn, I'm like I am shit. I ain't doing shit else with my life. This is my last twenty five. Like I can either smoke it or give it to this nigga. I'm like I ain't got. This. I end up smoking it though. I ain't give it to. That was probably like, the smarter thing to do because. To this day, I wonder could this nigga drug my twenty five to two bands. I'm still. He, is he it. around the is he around the ask? I don't know. <laughs> See, like, and your account would have been fucked up. They'd have been trying to put you in jail. No, I'd have, I'd have, I'd have pulled up, put up in the demon on God. Like, looking like I still do fry. <laughs> I had the demon. Nigga. I'd have been, how you get that? It's that G shit. Oh mm, shit. Until they came to repo that motherfucker. Then that'll start crying. Yeah, they were like, they were like <coughs> officer, <coughs> it's identity theft. If I don't, if I don't pay my bill, I'll be sleeping that motherfucker. As soon as they try to, as soon as I hear something, I'm turn, turn them. So you gonna be <laughs> dipping. As soon as I hear that, I don't give a fuck. I'm driving somewhere. Like, I'll be, I'll be sleep just like this. You gonna wake up? They gonna be putting you halfway <laughs> on there. <laughs> I'll drop off that motherfucker like Grand Theft Auto, nigga. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. You gonna dog. break the car, bro? Then, then, then they can have it. They can have it, bro. Like, <coughs> I had, a, I had a car repossessed before, but it was a fucked up situation. Let me tell you how fucked up the situation was, cause the starter was fucked up, right? So what I was doing, like the starter was fucked. It was just a fucked up situation. So like it clicked when it turned no, on. No, like if I turned it off, like the some battery shit was fucked up, and I had to be to work at like, I had to be to work at like eight, and I couldn't be late. Yeah, you know I mean, so I kept getting up like throughout the night. Every had my alarm set every two hours, getting up, starting a whip. Cause if I let it sit too long, it wouldn't start up. So I was like, I got up, started the whip, kept getting up, starting a whip and shit. Then I was like, fuck it. I was like, I'm gonna just. Leave it sit. I gotta be to work in two hours. I'ma just leave it sit in the group. You know what I mean? Woke up in two hours. Them repo niggas had that thing gone. Nigga, I was long story short. Nigga, I got fired that day because I was late for work. I got fired. It was all bad. That's why I was about to get that nigga my last twenty five to turn into two bands. 
facts, bro. That's we be getting fucking off topic. sad, bro. That's really sad, bro. I'm about to cry. You don't want to cry because I don't, I don't. I done bounce back. Bounce it, bounce back. That was like some hap- some pursuit of happiness shit, bro. Facts. It felt it felt like a it felt like uh boys in the hood. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> felt like boys in the hood for a minute, bro. <laughs> you couldn't you needed your ball back. <laughs> Facts, bro. Facts it felt like boys in the hood, bro. Damn. I had some pretty fucked up shit happen in a sequence like that, but not yeah. not the same thing though. Bro, I be my luck is bad, bro. Like, I'm the type of, I'll fall asleep on a bus and miss my stop. I've like, done that. I've and, done that. And get wake up by the nigga like this is the last stop. Like in fucking West Bumblefuck somewhere. God, like, like damn, dog. Like, you ain't wake me up before you got here. <laughs> Do I look like I'm from here? <laughs> like damn. Like got get up. I'm just like like bro. I never come out here. You see me catch this bus all the time. There ain't even no black people out here. Like, <laughs> the fuck? They didn't drop you off in pit, Karen. No, I remember I fell asleep. No, I fell asleep. Missed my stop. Like, I was supposed to get off. I was supposed to, I don't know how this happened. I was supposed to get off downtown. I was on a little P98 shit. P90 something coming from the one, uh, I think like the West End. About to get off downtown. Fell asleep on that hash shit. Woke up in East Liber- uh, Wilkinsburg Busway. <laughs> no more buses coming, bro. <laughs> Had to walk back to downtown from Wilkinsburg Busway. I'm on the fucking busway. <laughs> the Dude. cops came. No, nah, nigga. Nobody. Everybody was off. Everything was uh, closed. I'm just walking. It took me like two hours. I'm walking. Hey, on at a, least you have to walk. With, but I feel like it was coyotes and shit. Bro, that's why there. I stayed on the busway, dog. <laughs> I was in the middle of the busway, like real shit. <laughs> on the middle of the busway, just walking like. It was fucked up when I got all the way there, seen the first bus start coming. Like, I might as well just let that thing go. I'm already about to be there. <laughs> Fat. <laughs> oh, we got me fucked up. Like, luck be bad. Dude. Oh, man. Flag walk from the facts. I'm a Lucasburg busway to downtown. Facts. To I the do Marriott. some shit like that. I'm a walking legend. Where the farthest you walk? I man? walked from. The furthest You can ask about Bob That's a true story I don't know where the furthest I walk But I know I walk from like I walk from uh, Mun Hall You know where Mun Hall <laughs> is yeah. I walk from Mun Hall To Homewood That's far though Bennett Street That's far That's far And I was like up On a hill In Mun Hall too See when you When niggas walk When you gotta walk that far That made you down bad Oh yeah I was down bad We didn't have no whip We couldn't get a jitney At that time Oh a jitney He said a jitney There was Ubers There wasn't no Ubers That's why I'm about to tell The niggas what they jitney Cause a jitney Is a hood Uber Facts. So it's not a it's a it's a you building you no call card. it's a building you call right and it's 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 and old they say heads service when yeah they, it's when you old call heads. in they gonna say service, service. yes yeah, old heads you tell them your address and you tell them where you're going it's like all old black niggas so you be like 1832 Webster Avenue I'm going downtown they tell it started you, to six get dollars. bad remember they would be like they used to rob the Jitney driver yeah so sometimes they'll call and they'll you ask he'll ask you like. How many how people many? you? How many people you Three got? Three people. Oh, call back. I don't ride. I don't ride nobody in the back. Like, damn, you can't. Sometimes you be trying to get a jitney for an hour. Like, hello, same nigga answer. Service. Damn. You just call back, man. That's still me. Like, fuck. It's cold as hell out here. We ain't gonna rob you. It's just me and my niggas. I don't ride two in the. I don't ride four deep. You know and they still keep telling you to call back though. Facts. And then you call back nobody. You gotta get the one jitney driver. That that's real. I got I got the strap on me. Let these young niggas try something. <laughs> I wish they would. Yeah, I, I get it's this. It's always when one one guy that's cool though, like that could go everywhere. The the, the, the motherfucker who 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 ain't got no like that, that he see that's he how might be an old alcoholic or like a fiend or something. Or, yeah, or so, something like, something that he niggas just always call him unk. Facts. Like come on unk. Facts. I'm trying to go down here unk. And he always be getting caught up, pulled Facts. over. Oh, got pulled over. They caught him down. They caught him down the strip. Ooh shit! Price doing sixty five. Ooh shit! Price eliciting. Yeah, but back then, uh, and it's not that long ago. But damn, it, there's I still jitneys. There's still jitneys around, but Facts they probably still, even more still. sketchy 
now than before because jenny's probably take you straight to the uh sex traffic at, uh depot drop right. you off don't pay as you go like you might not even get to Mate. you might not even get to pay a uh a jenny he might rob you Jit- no nah, yeah no nah, <laughs> facts jenny's jenny's a sketchy bro they used to be get sketchy. in there he'd be like all right what you got be like what you mean what you mean i got five dollars like, no that's all you got I'm like, oh shit, drop me off. <laughs> no, nah, you gotta give me everything you got first. Well, like, uh, damn, bro. Shit, I'm gonna fake an asthma attack or something. I'm gonna just Max, oh, roll out breathe. that motherfucker. I can't breathe. You gonna get a murder charge? I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> you about to catch this murder charge? <laughs> they gonna see I'm dying in your back seat, man. I'm gonna just start convulsing, hitting my head off the. Uh, did you hit, man? Speaking of back in the day. Did you see that weak ass cops Pittsburgh? It wasn't even cops Pittsburgh. It was one white nigga with a syringe and a, a revolver got pulled over, went to jail with a syringe and a revolver, and they took a shorty to jail. He's like, "Please, officer, it was bad. She ain't know nothing." Of- How do niggas be saying that? Like, she didn't know nothing about it, bro. The gun was next to her seat, and she gonna say, "I ain't see it." Like, that's a big ass. <laughs> it's a big ass revolver Like I, I'm i gonna keep it Sir Like I was scared I thought he was gonna shoot me If I said don't get in the car With my gun <laughs> I thought he was gonna shoot me So I just didn't say nothing Like Like what you want a nigga to say You didn't see it like, She was like Sir I swear to god I didn't see it He's like ma'am I just have to take you to jail to, Then this bitch gonna start crying Like oh my god I don't, I don't wanna go to jail I'm like bitch you keep you keep that same energy. You was out with your man. Y'all got weed, a gun, syringes. Y'all was on y'all was on y'all poke fiction shit. Real life poke fiction. Like, they was using the I don't know what did the they was using the syringes or they was selling the syringes. I don't know what the fuck what they was doing because it was the commercial. But <laughs> the cop was the cop was like, man, I asked you, did you have anything sharp on you? He's like, you giving you making me angry. I was like, yeah, that's crazy, cause syringe like. The syringe life, that's different. You got a gun and a syringe. Like, what you about to do? Like, what you about to do? Like, you- I mean, she's really lucky he didn't pull a gun out on her for real. It was her car and he ain't had no license. And the cop was like, didn't I just pull you over? Because he seen a gun in there? He probably... Oh, he, he said he just... He was he was like... You know how cops be like, mm, yeah, I'm on routine patrol right here. I'm going to stop this car because ah, this guy's known for driving with no license. He's one of them type of niggas. Pulled him over. Did I just pull you over last week? <laughs> I said, ah, oh, this thing. Got caught up, bro. Damn. Then they always come out the camera, man. What you the camera on my face? You going to jail. <laughs> Fuck a camera in your face, bro. You you go to the, the, the Bing house. Like, like you, the, the camera nigga's about to get off work and go home. You going to jail. Like, that's the least of your worries. Don't fucking record me. Like, they going to be like, all right, take the camera off of me. <laughs> then they just found crack on you in a pistol. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Like, you don't got a license. Bro, I was watching one of those and this uh old old dude, they called him like he was like an older brother or something like that. Was uh, you know, a good community man or something like that. But I, I think he was like <laughs> a good he, community man. He got, he got caught with like a, a eight ball on him and like a water cash. And he had good and community like, man. Yeah, and, <laughs> and and then they found like baggies of it and shit. So like he went down, bro, and I was just like Damn, like whatever his name was, I think it was like Daryl or some shit like that. But Daryl had the crack on him. Daryl had the crack on him, bro. Daryl wasn't just a good community man, bro. He was slanging to the he, hood. He was the pusher man. He went to the hood to slang. He lived in like the suburbs or some shit like that. But he was like bro. from the hood or something like that. Bro, it's crazy because they always get caught up trying. They always get caught up copping, like. I don't know how many crackheads just cop under any circumstances. Like, <laughs> would you think the craziest like sad hustle for like a a drug dealer is? Shit, that I think a teacher is is. Ooh, shit! If you because like teachers and principals and like school officials that be hustling in if the you schools. Was a, if you was a church, if you was a preacher, bro. Well, that's yeah, that probably trumps it. But if you was a preacher hustling in that shit out the pool, like the teachers the- and shit, bro. That be doing that is the illest, bro. But yeah, remember there was there was one in um, I want to say on the east side of town. I want to say probably like. Traffic. Penn Hills or somewhere. I don't know. But anyhow, 
um, it's not really important. Mm, shit. <laughs> That's the, neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. It's the person. It was it was a, a male teacher. A teacher. What he was selling? Like heroin, I think. Oh my god! And he was like doing it like after hours, so like he would teach, and then I think maybe. He started doing it as this on the school property. He might have been a cool ass teacher then. That's but that's what I was about to say. I believe they were saying that. He might have been sleeping in class. Y'all do, most of do the reports in Mr. Jones class. Yeah, most of the reports of from the teacher students or whatever, like he was a cool teacher. He be sleep all the time. But <laughs> he got caught like slanging and I think he got shot on Damn. On, on, on premises, the school premises. That that just turned for the worse. Yeah, yeah, like a fiend or something. I think like they got to rob you. Remember, uh, I don't know what made. Me I don't know if that's really the story, but no, uh, I was gonna say I don't know what made me think it is, but a, a video. Some of that is true. <laughs> I don't know how much of it it isn't, but you could figure it out yourself. It's true. Some of it. No, a video was on Instagram back in the day. Remember that video with the girl? Like I'm about to tell my mom I ate the last slice of pizza. Oh yeah, <laughs> Bruh. I don't know what made me think about that video. I wanted her mom to crush her so bad. Like, what the fuck you eat that because last I didn't piece know. of pizza for? Actually, no. You know what? I, I <laughs> when I first looked at it, I didn't know what was going to happen because I was looking at it like, okay, so I'm guessing her mom's going to get mad the way she's, you know, what I'm saying like sneaking. Yeah, like she's pranking her that she ate the last piece of pizza. So obviously her mom's going to get mad, but I didn't expect her to like go off the she way she snapped did. Snapped on her, like she snapped. She was like, I was hungry though. She's like, what the fuck? What the fuck you wanted the last piece of pizza for? You know she can't. You can't fuck. You yeah, can't. She mess was with hot. Big lady's pizza. No, big mama beat the hell out of you about Over that, that. pizza. You wasn't supposed to eat that last piece. That last slicer. What you got for us? You digging in your... Um, I forgot we ain't live. I just keep forgetting we ain't live. It, it feel like less pressure. Yeah, shout out to Stale uh, for swinging through the session with some um, some powerful OG. Um, and then, what else What else was we sponsored by today? Uh, Backwoods, huh? All there the was, time. There was, a, um, there was a raw paper in the air. It was a raw paper. Shout out to the uh, the original Blast Lord. You know who you are. Bam, 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 bam. Um, shout out to Wallflower Media. Media always doing their thing, man. Um, always capturing the moments. Yes, always always on the cap- scene. Always the- capturing the moments behind the blam, bram, blama. <laughs> and uh, so uh, what we needed to talk about and really what oh, yeah. you guys really want to know is. What album would you get rid of? So, dun, dun, dun. out of the four albums that just dropped, dun, dun, dun. the top four albums on the Apple Music charts, we're going to call them out. Call them out. Call them out. And we're going to choose one that will not make our list. So, um, if one had to go, if one had to go. Out of the top albums, hip hop charts, Survivor style, and this was as of last night. It might have changed this morning, but um, or by the time you've listened to this, obviously. But uh, no matter, Lil Baby number one, my turn. PTSD number two, G Herbo, still flexing, still stepping. Young boy never broke again. NBA Young Boy. For y'all that don't know, that's number three. And number four was Artist 2.0, A Boogie with the Hoodie. Um, so if you had to pick one of those albums to get rid of, Flack, which album are you? Who was number two again? One was Baby. One was Baby. Two was G Herbo. Three was NBA Youngboy. And four was uh, A Boogie with the Hoodie. Hmm. I listened to a boogie. I would have to say G Herbo for me. You taking G Herbo out of there? Yeah, because I like even it. after the PTSD jam. Yeah, I liked it. So you wouldn't listen to it just for that jam? Mm. But you said it compared to them four though. Yeah, like if so if the- you had to choose one of them, that's gotta go out of those. Out of those four, which one got to go for you? 
I liked the A Boogie for sure. Probably the probably baby. Probably baby for me. Oh, you wasn't feeling the baby? No. You gotta, I, bro. You gotta give it another lit. Okay, okay. All right, that's fair though. But I think you gotta give it a listen still. What? what which one would you take out? Uh, for me, I would take out the NBA Young Boy, and it's no disrespect to NBA Young Boy, but I just don't listen to his music that much. Like I, 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 I like it. I, I, like I, it. I, I'm not saying it's weak at all or anything like that. Like I fuck with his it, music. It just ain't his style. Yeah, like I just don't randomly listen to him. You know what I'm saying? Like I listen to him more to like hear what he's doing and shit like that. And like I like him as a as an artist. You, you, but I don't have a personal preference. You, you like his, you like his singles. You, you a single. You, you, you fuck with his singles. You ain't gonna listen to. Uh, yeah, album. I don't. I don't have a favorite. You know what I'm saying? I don't no, have a I favorite. Feel that. And um, that's cool because I can still get one. But like, you, I don't. I just don't have a favorite from him. So if it was out of those four for me, it would be, it would be him, because I definitely listen to a boogie, um. I definitely uh, listen to G Herbo and and I fucks with the little baby. The little baby's crazy. The beats, um, the features are subtle. Um, I think because the two of them are his artists. Okay. And uh, the one you got to hear and that with everybody, uh, with damn near everybody. Well, no, no, no. The one you got to hear that I turned off, um, in like. The first 60 seconds, but it was like Baby started rapping towards the end of it. And okay. it was just a person at the beginning. Uh, then there's another one. He has uh, Future. Um, there's Very another boy. one. He has um, his uh, his artist, Rilo. That song's tight. Um, but, like, the subtles aren't crazy, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't got everybody on his album. Lil Wayne. He got Lil Wayne, but that's what I'm saying. That's a big feature. Yeah, that joint's crazy though. Yeah, but um, yeah, no, nah, for me, it would it would be NBA Young Boy, and and the only reason why I say that too is well, off Young Boy, he kicking off NBA Young Boy off the island, bro. It's only because I, you know, what I haven't even listened to it yet. I'm gonna be honest. So you kicking him off just bec- because you listen to the other three and not that one? Yeah, I mean, all right, respect. Personally, I just you know want to. Do, I just wanted to know why. Personally, I don't. But you know, you it's question, nothing against him. You question me to death, so I'm questioning you back. You, it's cool. I can take some questions, brother. You acting like you can't. I can take some questions, brother. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Ain't you acting like you can't. So I, I would take, I would take, because uh, you ain't. I would take to NBA YoungBoy off. You know what I'm saying? Because you ignorantly ain't listen to it yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm ignorant. I will hear it, and I'll probably hear it in this hype, um, which. I don't know if it's being hyped or not right now because I I just feel like he he's got that, fans. That's what I'm saying. Like he's he's just that big of an artist now that like I don't feel like I have to rush to it. Yeah, like it'll yeah because he ain't gonna get played out. Yeah, so like it'll like, be there. Yeah, like it's it's three right now. It's gonna f- fuck around and be one probably. You know what I'm saying tomorrow or something. I don't know. It might not hit one though. It ain't that fire. I mean it's fire. Don't get me wrong, but. One is you should gotta be fired to hit one, bro. Little babies is one, but I think it's even Billboard charted too. But that's what I'm saying. I, th- I thought you were talking about Billboard. You're talking oh about no, Apple I'm talking Music. about Apple Music. We just talking about Apple's. They charts. shit slated. Apple's charts. That's I mean, there's they there's numbers is valid. Slated. I mean, bro, theirs is valid. I don't want you. To, they they uh they joking the numbers, man. The downloads, man. It's they're valid numbers, bro. It's Apple Music. You can not vouch for Apple Music. They're valid. They're valid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what number one is still. I want a piece of that check. It's, it's the name. Roddy Rich. The bro. box. Roddy Rich. Bro. Roddy Rich is come on, bro. So he, since we on that topic, then let's talk about let's talk about Lil Baby versus the baby then. Alright. Um the baby it's still tearing it up. Um, it said that he's probably getting somewhere around um, half a mil per show. Damn. Um, uh, that's what the blogs are saying. Uh, I don't know. I haven't checked any of my sources to see what an actual number is. But 
I know he can be getting anywhere from that, you know what I'm saying, to probably like 50000 for a low end. And he might not even take that depending on where it is. But, half a million for a show. But half a million for a show now. Damn, um, okay, baby. No wonder you be laughing and, laughing and smiling. And then we have Lil Baby who just dropped an album called My Turn. And the album is blowing up the charts. Um, Everything on the Apple charts. Char- every song on the album um, charted on Apple. That's because they ain't dropping a while. Well, I mean, that may be true, but like, it's number one, and it's you know it's number one by a mile probably. But you know when niggas don't drop too often, when they do drop, shit gonna go boomy. Well, I mean that's a good. T- I mean that's a good debate then because, uh, what who would you go with? Like, what if you had to say which artist is better? Um, Lil Baby or Dub Baby Which one would you go with The Baby Cause he getting a half a million in the show So you starting a record label We both starting a record label Alright And uh, we have been recruiting both of these guys I'm taking the baby You taking the baby Off top Okay And no, we, wh- why we you about, taking the baby Cause though? we about to go get that bag <laughs> We make <laughs> half a million a show We gonna go get that bag <laughs> Just feel my face on my daughter. We laughing and smiling. Feel me? Damn. Okay. So I mean, Rich Homie Quan. I mean, uh, he getting he getting five hundred mil. The baby five hundred a show. Five hundred thousand a show. Give me, give me, give me five thousand. So, show. so what you think he's doing in other things? Because you know he's like doing. You know he's got crazy songs. He's probably. He might be getting ready for a movie or something weird. Hmm. So you think you think uh like if even going back some mixtapes to mixtapes, uh Rag the Riches. Okay, so you would take you would take the baby over little baby. Alright, cool. I'm definitely taking the baby. He got yeah, I fuck with the baby. Facts. Fuck with his vids, fuck with the dances, mm. all types of shit. <laughs> Oh man, you know I I would love to agree with you, bro. Um, but what, motherfucker? I would love to agree with you, but uh, this this little baby project was was is I, super crazy. I ain't said it was weak. And no, no, I'm not saying this. I'm not saying you're debating that. Oh. But I'm just saying, like this this little baby project probably puts me in a tougher decision Debate. than I would I'd have had to make probably three months ago. Like wow. uh because I feel like don't get me wrong, I feel like Lil Baby is a little bit more versatile than the baby, but I think the baby is definitely the hotter rapper and, and and he's figured it he's figured out what he what he wants to do so he don't have to do nothing else yet baby, the baby took a step back for some reason like i, I mean i don't need a little break yeah, no no he did but that might have fucked him up i mean bro he toured all over the world you know what i'm saying like but he yeah he he was making music but like he was also moving around and shit like imagine like him getting to sit down He's been. I know he's been doing a lot of features, um, you know. But the, I'm getting off topic of my guy though. So like your guy, this little baby joint is really crazy, bro. But I ain't say it wasn't, bro. I but just, if I'm starting my label, bro, I'm taking the baby. I'm gonna take the baby. I'm about to, get this, <laughs> I'm about to take the money. baby. We gonna go get this money. This money. And and look, I'm not. That's no disrespect to little baby. He's definitely making. He's definitely he making his money. money too. But you know. But, but Lil Baby has also, like, look, bro, I'm not trying to put a cap on either one of these guys because they're both young. I, bo- I think they're both going to uh, excel. Yeah, ascend, excend. Like Mike but um, I would just I would just say because of the baby, how he's come in strong. He came in for a year, and within that year, he already brought us. Uh, Stunner for Vegas, and, and Stunner for Vegas is like on his own touring. Yeah, um, like all his guys, 
like are damn near famous now you know what i'm saying like guapped up like he got he's basically like got the midas touch facts he needs to let me hang with him for a day or two see what i can get rubbed off on me no homo yeah so uh for me i'm going if if i'm starting my record label today i'm i'm going with the baby over the over little baby but this album though he be here you go set fire bro i don't i don't think now i will say this here you go set tripping no, no, I'm, I said what I said, but okay. I want to just give a little bit, you know okay. what I'm saying? If I will, give my crib notes, you know what I'm saying? Because I just want to let them know that I do this, you know what I'm saying? He, so He does this shit, y'all. So I've helped you. You know what I'm saying? I I was I was doing my scouting report. Scouting, scouting. And um, I had to look and make sure that I didn't make the wrong decision. Now, I did make a calculated decision. That's that sounds like it failed, and and the calculated decision is that I was wrong than a motherfucker. <laughs> I told you, <laughs> told you. I tried to see what's crazy is I tried to tell him, but I know that story ends. But no, um, yeah, I'm taking a baby, but uh, I would I would give my uh insight on this. The album, hold that on, he just drops. All right, what album could you listen to out of those four? Straight through that you prefer to listen to straight through. Straight through, my turn, off top. So that's what you picking out of all the four. Yeah, and you would get rid of Young Bull only because I haven't listened to it yet. I'm not, though, no, I'm just saying. So you'll get yeah, you'll yeah. To I mean, yeah. That's and the my one turn I is do. your go to out of all four of them. Yep. All right. No, I'm probably gonna regret it in a couple of weeks or even a couple of when days drop when a I banger. hear it. No, when I when I hear it and then I'll be like, damn, this is probably this harder is a, than this is a all bang. Of them. Yeah. But I don't know. I right now all I can say is my turn is definitely off rip. A banger. I'm putting that right straight on. 